again, to kind of reiterate what I'm doing here is I am trying to put myself in your shoes, whether that comes to marketing and social media, career development, uh, entrepreneurship, side hustle, finding your niche, whatever it might be, kind of the three main areas that I've been experiencing and, and doing a lot of professional work in for the last two or three years. So what I have, again, is a deck of note cards here. I'm gonna wind up picking one here at random, so let me do a quick shuffle here and see what we got. Uh, and I will actually let Kai behind the camera, you're gonna pick one and hand one to me. <laughs> so if I were, let's see which one he's picking here. So if I were a college grad or a young professional looking for culture or fit, um, this is a good one. I, th I think this is pretty common, especially among, uh, I remember talking to some student affairs, college grads uh, or, or actually graduate students that were job searching this year. And they said, Kev, I know what I want to do. They, you know, they want to be in residence life, student leadership, uh, whatever it might be. And, but they want to make sure that they get to the right institution with the right fit or get into the right department with the right boss that they love working for. And so a couple tips that I gave was the interview process, obviously we can all say this, it's kind of cliche, it's a two-way street. They're interviewing you, you're interviewing them. But a couple of things that I recommend to find out if it's a fit for you is I would do a lot of Google searching, both of the institution, uh, but also the department. Uh, so find out what are people talking about? You know, are, is the institution in the news? And is it, are they in the news for good or bad things? Uh, the department itself, uh, maybe even go into that institution's website and seeing if there's articles, current publication talks about, about the different work that they're doing and, uh, and how it's recognized, if it's supported or not. Uh, so that's what I would find out in one capacity. The second, I would literally do some professional stalking of everybody that's working in that department. So you're gonna get an itinerary of probably three to five to 10 people you're gonna meet with for a half day campus interview. Again, I'm getting pretty specific here within student affairs. I would do search on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I would get a sense of who they are, both professionally as well as personally. Does it look like they have a family life? Does it look like they actually get to enjoy their family life? Do they go on vacation? Are they interested in outdoors? Are they interested in food? Whatever it might be. One, you might have some commonalities that you can talk about in the interview, but two, you'll get a sense of who they are as a person and you might wanna get a sense of, you know, would you see yourself working with these people based on their social media profile? Uh, and the last thing that I would do is I would create a either a, an Instagram collection or a private Twitter feed of all those people and be able to go and visit their tweets and their Instagram posts on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So let's say you haven't even had an interview lined up, but you, you've identified five institutions that you know you would love to work for. I would create this private Twitter list or this Instagram collection of all the people that you want to work for at that institution and I would follow them and I would check it on, a, again, probably a weekly basis and I wouldn't be afraid to chime back in with a like, a favorite, a comment, or some encouragement. Again, to build some, uh, some relationship as well as to get on their radar. You never know, they might put out an article that they just published. You might want to comment and say, hey, this is a great article. Next thing you know, when you go to apply or get an interview, they, they have some type of context with you. Uh, again, that's how I would find out if it's a fit by just immersing yourself in the people and the news of the organization. Uh, by doing some simple Google searching and some professional stalking. So that's what I would do if I was a uh, college graduate or a young professional trying to get into the student affairs world or trying to find a place with a good culture or fit. If you really like this and you feel so compelled to, I would love a comment, like, share, or even a subscribe. But most importantly, there's somebody out there that you know that you could totally share this video with that hopefully will get some tips and any way I can help them, please let me know. Thanks and we'll see you next time. Wait, before you go and before I finish this video, I had two other thoughts that came to my head. Uh, one is you want to find out who the executive vice president is of student affairs or who the, the highest level person that you may be working for. I would add that person to the list and you want to find out where they've worked before, what track record they have, have they been in the news before, have they been in major publications, are they really deeply rooted into some, some of these major associations that you believe in. But most importantly, if you have time to be interviewed by that person, the highest level, the one question that I would ask to find out if it's gonna be a culture or fit, especially from a leadership standpoint, is I always like to ask uh, something to the effect of how do you and your team celebrate success? Or how do you view success for your team? And a lot of what their answer is, uh, if they use words like we and us and together we've done this and this is how we celebrate it, then you know that a person probably has a really good leadership style. If they dismiss that question or don't really give away that they actually celebrate, 
then you know that it's very work hard ethic and no celebration. And if they use the word I, that it was all them, then you know that they are very inflated on their ego and then they take all the credit. Again, it's something you can judge, uh, but that's the last two tips I just want to throw in there before you guys leave. Thanks.